Yum, yum! Hey guys, Ryan Ernst with Pixel Fondue here. Today I want to show you how to cut out items using the pen tool in Photoshop. So the pen tool is located over here uh, on your toolbar on the left. You can also hit P to bring it up. If you hold down on top of uh, with your mouse on top of the button, you'll see that there's a couple of different options. The pen tool is what we're going to use. There's the free form pen tool, add anchor points, delete anchor points, and convert point tool. Uh, so we'll probably be using the convert point tool some too um, to create nicer looks, uh, sharper edges, sharper angles, or just better curves. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have this set to path up top, and then you have this set to combine shapes. So now you'll just go through and lay out the outer uh, silhouette, and then we'll leave these insides for last. So it doesn't really matter where you start, as long as you're on the outside. And when I'm cutting out, I like to stay just a little bit within my uh, pixels. That way you don't get a white edge around it. If you do get a white edge, I'll show you how to fix it, it's okay. Uh, but I'll normally just stay slightly within the bounds of the pixels here. Instead of trying to be right on the edge between gray and white. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking and then I'm just uh, clicking the next one in the line and if I want it to be sharp then I can just click and leave it but if I want it to be uh, to have these handles, these bezier handles you can click and drag and that'll drag your handles out and then however you adjust these handles is where your curves gonna be. So if I wanted to come down like this you'd arc it up but I want it to come over. So I'm going to arc it down just a little bit. Now, if you put one down and then you want to be able to adjust it, you can hold control and just move it into place if you weren't quite close enough um, to your edge. Or you can hold alt and move the individual bezier curves one at a time. If you do that, note that you will get a sharp edge right where your point is. Um, to undo that and then if you hold alt you can click directly on the point and get rid of your next bezier curve I'm gonna undo that as well I'm just gonna keep coming in here and laying out my lines just trying to stay close to that curve So I put in a solid point there because it's a nice solid break. I'm just going to use little curves here so that I get nice tight little round points. Let's drag that in a little bit closer. Nice sharp points in the corners. And you don't want to zoom too close in here. Um, I caught myself being way too close and just taking forever to cut things out. And it's okay if you don't get every little bump and pixel. When all the major shapes but don't stress too much. If you're an artist these days, you've got to be fast. It's just how it is. Everybody wants everything done right now. I'm going to pull this handle back a little bit so that I can place my next one in that corner because I don't want it to go past um, where I lay my next point. It'll pull the line past it. I laid in an extra point up there and I don't want that. Um, so I've kind of deleted it and I'm dragging out my next one. Alright, so that's our outer shape. And we've got it all the way around. It's time to start doing our little ones in here. So now you're going to switch over uh, your combined shapes for a subtract front shape. 
and then start laying in your next, uh, your holes basically. Got another hole down here. Just use three little points to cut that out. We've got one more down here. Use three uh, points to cut that out. The less points you use, the faster you're going to be, but you still want it to look good. So it's just about finding that happy little medium. So I'm going to pull this bezier curve back a little bit. Adjust this be bezier curve so that it's pointed straight up to point at my other one. And go ahead and connect it. So it looks like we've got all of our points now. We'll go over to the paths panel by layers. And if you hold control and click you'll notice that we've got something wrong where it's not giving us our hole cutouts and I think I know what it is if you click on your working path go ahead and duplicate it so you don't mess it up and you duplicate it just by holding alt and dragging it down that'll create a duplicate then grab your uh, main select arrow your black arrow and uh, click the outer path and you'll notice that our combined shapes has changed and I'm not sure how that happened but all you have to do is reset it to combine shapes and now you'll see in our paths the difference uh, between the working path that we created and path one which we just duplicated and changed. Um, the background is gray and if you control click on it you get uh, a nice cutout of the actual back. But our holes are still messed up. So why are our holes messed up? Uh, come in here with your selection tools, your white or your black arrow again, and grab the uh, inner paths and let's see what those say now these are set to freaking combine again uh, we need to set these sub to subtract now if we control click you can see that they're set uh, properly and that it cut out, cuts out perfectly um, so if you come back over to your layer with your bag on it you can just hit your create mask down here it's a rectangle with a gray circle in the middle and that will cut it out so I've got a background color of white here. I'm just going to switch that over to something that you can see. There you go. And you can see that there's no white fringe or anything like that. Um, it's just a really nice sharp cutout. Now if you have some white fringe that you want to adjust, you've got your selection uh, set. I've just reselected my uh, path basically by holding control and clicking on my mask and that reselects uh, the white area inside the mask. I'll go ahead and delete this and show you what you can do if you have a little bit of fringe. Um, you can go up to select and go to modify and the first thing you want to do is run a smooth with probably a one or two pixel radius. I'm going to do two and then go back up to select and say modify contract by one pixel and you'll just contract by one pixel um, and see if that fixes your problem. Remask it and if you've still got fringe just go back, undo and contract by two pixels. If you've still got fringe do it by three pixels. Three pixels should pretty much be the max that you need to go. Um, otherwise it means you're just not cutting close enough uh, to your product and you're gonna have to work on that a little bit more. Anyway guys that's the lesson for the day. See you next time.